two questions right here would be how do you influence Gen Z that is probably more liberal because of colleges and high school teachings? And, you know, could you mention that? Do, should we be concerned with the age of Republican candidates as Asa Hutchison and Donald Trump? Because when Donald Trump, if Donald Trump would get reelected, he'd be 80 years old. We're in the same right. boat that we have Biden in right now. Right. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. And the answer is yes, that they do not need none of None of these appeal to the younger voters. Forget policies, forget platforms, forget everything. A lot of Gen Z just looks at you and goes, yes, no. It's that simple. They're used to swiping left or swiping right for accepting friendships or however those, you know, the different apps work uh, to, to be a friend or connect. So I, to me, uh, they're, they're going to make instant decisions of uh, no on you, maybe on you, yes on you. Uh, it's so visual to them and it's instant. Uh, that's why I think that no poll can possibly caps encapsulate what this election is going to be about, as we saw in 2016. Uh, in fact, it wasn't until after the first debate that people thought Donald Trump even had a chance. He was such a long shot. In fact, he was the clown uh, uh, of, yeah. of the whole candidate uh, slate. And so, uh, but after the first debate, it, it got more real and people saw, okay, uh, he actually has some ideas. He's here to stay and, uh, and allowed it to progress. But with, as it relates to Gen Z, I can tell you, you know, they think we're old. Uh, so the fact that th they think the others are archaic, uh, you know, from, from, from a prehistoric age, that they, they can't even fathom somebody like that being president. By the way, they would be the oldest presidents or leaders of any nation in the world, a free nation in the world, uh, by by age. Uh, and if we go by the trends that are happening in the rest of the world, which we we usually do, uh, uh, they're all electing younger leaders, uh, people who they feel like they can relate to, uh, people who they think at least better understands them. They want someone who has enough experience and is seasoned enough, but still youthful, people who still feel like they can relate to and understand. But I'll tell you this. Yes, they are left leaning. Uh, yes, many of them uh, on social issues, they they think very differently about those. But they seem to be more open to truth. That's the difference. For the last eight years, we haven't had truth. We've had entertainment. For the last four years, we've had a simulation and we haven't even had, you know, uh, the, the president being the president. Uh so the, 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 the deep state or the administrative state, uh, the, the, the bureaucracies uh, have been able to just run the way they prefer to run. Uh, and their agenda is uh, liberal. Uh, so I believe that uh, the Gen Z, I have, I have great hope for them, uh, and especially even in this election, because they value truth. They, they know authentic, uh, authenticity more than the millennials, more than Gen X, more than uh, even seniors. Senior, a lot of them still look, watch the news and think, oh, that's just the truth because it came from the news or it came from doctors. So therefore, it must be right. Whereas my generation and, and, and younger are going, are you kidding me? Just because you have a doctor after your name for every doctor that says this, I can find a doctor who says that. So I don't believe either one of you. I'm going to look for things myself. Uh, but they understand who is authentic. I'm not reading from a script. I don't have a teleprompter. That's all fake. It is all uh, show. They want authentic, and that's what will win this. That's why Ron DeSantis doesn't even stand a chance. He's at 16% poll. He doesn't even stand a chance in this because he can't speak unless it's scripted. It has to be in here if you're going to fight for America, if you're going to actually move America forward, defend America. Do you think Vladimir Putin's having to read from a script? Much less you start getting into, into, into Biden territory, uh, you know, where everything is everything is staged. Uh, you have to know what you believe and why you believe it. And I believe that we have brought appeal to uh, a lot of people. There's 15% on the far, far right, 15% on the far, far left. And I think 70% in the middle uh, say, uh, look, we may not agree with your, your faith or your social positions or anything else, but at least we know who you are. We know what you stand for. And, uh, and, and we know that you will respect and listen uh, all American citizens. You'll be a president for everyone, uh, even though you'll stand strong for what you believe is right. We can live with that. Hey, Amen. That's, that's, that's some good words right there. Uh, Mr. Rock.